got uh, you got a special jacket where that you're wearing. Talk about that special jacket you're wearing there too. Well, right? I represent the Buffalo Soldiers of the American West, and this is uh, our emblem. This is Haskell Hooks of Trinidad, Colorado, a man who loves sharing the history of Buffalo Soldiers, black men who served in the Army during the Civil War. Yeah, we ride horses. Okay, and we do have a drill team. We do have a uh, honor guard team. But not all Buffalo Soldiers were men. One of them was considered an imposter, Kathy Williams. For me, she is one of the most intriguing historical figures in Colorado's history. She was born into slavery in Missouri and was a slave in the U.S. military. Not long after the Emancipation Proclamation, she decided to become a U.S. soldier. But in order to do that, she had to pass herself off as a man. And she did, fooling everyone for two years in government service. It's believed she even saw battle. She served in New Mexico too, but eventually a doctor discovered she was a woman. After getting kicked out of the army, Williams eventually moved to Pueblo and then Trinidad. Williams is the only black woman who served as a Buffalo soldier in the U.S. Army. She is buried here and uh, they buried her under uh, some uh, how, how it's a uh, nominous name or something. You know? Some like unmarked grave then. Yes. Yeah. So she, she lived the last years of her life in Trinidad. You live in Trinidad. You obviously have a special connection to the historical figure of Cathay Williams. What do you think is very important to learn about her life and times in the American West? Well, I kind of feel that she, you know, I mean, we're both, uh, you know, in a different era. I represent the Buffalo Soldiers of the American West here out of Brighton, Colorado. So, uh, and I am Calvary. Haskell has been running a fundraiser trying to get $50,000 to erect a statue for Kathy Williams. If the money is raised, he says he has the blessing from the community to erect it in Trinidad, where she died. Why is that important for you, and why is that important for the community in Colorado? Well, uh, they, over at the Historical Museum, they do have a, uh, a plaque with her name on it, but it is uh, in the back, and if they're not open, you can't see it. So I feel her to be visible, and... Uh, that way she's not locked up behind closed doors. There's no doubt the story of Kathy Williams continues to captivate people. A remarkable story about a woman who chose to live life on her terms. In her later years, she failed to get a pension from the U.S. Army and then died in poverty in Trinidad. Nearly 130 years after her death, people are still trying to keep her memory alive.